I've got a confession to make. I still love taking paper notes. When you look around at students today, everyone seems to be using the latest tech, an iPad, a Surface laptop, to maximize efficiency and productivity when taking their notes. And I get it, it's amazing. You don't have to worry about carrying a whole extra notepad around. You don't have to worry about losing your notes because it's all in the cloud. And you can highlight, share, and organize your notes at the click of a button. It's wicked. But let me tell you some of the reasons why paper remains king. Number one, no distractions. We live in the age of distraction. We're constantly surrounded by flashing notifications, addicting gadgets and products that are trying to grab our attention. And laptops, Surface tablets and iPads aren't really helping. Now sure, you can find ways to block time-wasting apps and hide your notifications, but having a world of distraction just a click away makes it so easy to switch from study mode to chill mode. And we almost always slip into chill mode. Paper doesn't give you notifications. It respects your time. Number two less associations with wasting time. A big part of staying focused on a task is down to creating an environment where we're primed to get solid, uninterrupted work done. And sometimes that means not working in the same spot you like to watch Netflix or in areas where you know your friends might be able to distract you. Now, I don't know about you, but I use my laptop for reading random articles, watching videos and hopping onto social media. And iPad users do this too. They're great for consuming similar content. But here's the problem. Studying on the same device that you associate with killing time is a recipe for unproductive work. You can't watch videos on paper. It doesn't work that well. Number three, better flow. Call me old fashioned, but there's nothing like the feeling of a book in your hand, the scent of a fresh notebook and a pen gliding on paper. And as a writer and a bit of a perfectionist, I've noticed that writing on paper prevents you from being as picky as someone with the power of a delete button. As Austin Kleon says in his book, Still Like an Artist, there are too many opportunities to hit the delete key. The computer brings out the uptight perfectionist in us. We start editing ideas before we even have them. When you use a laptop or iPad, the delete key or undo button brings out the inner perfectionist in us. So we keep reiterating small pieces of work until we're happy with them and they look aesthetically pleasing. But if you're drafting an essay on paper, the words just flow out and you can't take them back. Number four, better for memorizing. Writing on paper is imperfect. Whether it's a small inconsistency in our grammar, the gaps we squeeze our words into, or the ink smudges that give the paper a unique touch, every page is different. I find that I'm much more likely to remember something from an imperfect handwritten page rather than a fixed formatted computer document. And it might sound like a small thing, but anything that helps a student to understand and memorize their work is something worth paying attention to. Some of the best minds in history use nothing but pen and paper. It's tried and tested. Now, although I love using my laptop whenever possible, when it comes to studying for long periods of time, I hate staring at my screen. It puts strain on my eyes, it can give me a headache, and it just doesn't feel as real as looking at paper. Screens are great for skimming and scanning information and navigating through resources quickly. But when it comes to deep focus, understanding and memorizing information, I still think paper takes the lead. By this point, I know what you're thinking. Okay, Faisal, you made a couple of great points, but it's just not practical to use paper when we've got better options most of the time. How do we store the notes in the cloud? How do we search through our notes? What if I want to drag a picture from Wikipedia onto my notes? How do I do that, Faisal? Chill. I got you. So let's imagine you're at a random lecture or workshop, for example, okay, and you've got nothing but your phone, right? Everyone nowadays carries a smartphone, almost everyone. If you write something down on paper that's been made available to you, then you can scan it in using a scanner app and upload it in electronic format. Apps like Tiny Scanner and Adobe Scan are ones that I've used in the past. Also, note-taking apps like Evernote not only allow you to scan in images, but they auto-detect text and writing so that you can search through your notes just like it was typed, unless you've got doctor's handwriting. So even if you love your iPad or laptop, like me, at the very least, you can be comfortable knowing that this method will allow you to use nothing but paper whenever needed, so that you don't have to live with the fear of losing those ideas. And this is a great method for anyone who genuinely cannot afford the latest iPad and Apple Pen. It's bloody expensive. Paper is cheap, it's readily available, it works. Remember, it's not about the resources you have, but how you use them. See you next time. prevents you from being as picky as someone with the power of a delete button.